حضرت شاہ عبد اللطیف بھٹائی اینڈ ہز لائف سنس انسیپشن ہیومن بینگ ان اسپائٹ آف ہیوج سائنٹیفک ریسرچ ڈسکوریز اینڈ نالج نیدر کڈ نو دا سیکریٹس آف دا یونیورس نار کڈ نو ہم سیلف مین از انڈلج ان آرڈنری نالج اینڈ ار ریسپانسبل ایٹیٹیوڈ ہینس could not prove himself as noble being. Man is ordinary one, could not be chosen one. Nowadays, science has proved that this universe had been created from single particle. But mystics told centuries before that this universe had been created from one being. and from single being to the expansion of the universe there are number of beautiful galaxies which lead man to unseen and undiscovered aspects of the universe Sindhi society has suffered since centuries Sindh, the land of peace which was turned in battlefield In such crisis there happens birth of great poet Shah Abdul Latif Bhittai whose poetic ideas created new trends and diverted the ways of thinking nations countries and societies are known by their poets and Sindhi nation is known by Shah Abdul Latif Bhittai His everlasting poetry is expression of noble values and principles of Sindhi society. Great men never happen to be born again and again. They prove themselves the pioneer of that era. They became committed with their period and they at that juncture of time become representative of new and old and justify the ways for their nation. Such great poets having extraordinary qualities are very powerful and important in the sense that they pay for new trends for their nation. on which that nation has to go forward for a long future because there happens no alternate to follow such great poets bring with themselves new dreams new ideas and new trends with which they guide their nation and let them know that how to prepare for future so that the nation can face ups and downs of the life and survive through the crisis and save the national identity a great mystic poet shah abdul latif bhittai was born in 1690 ad 1102 hijra in the old historical village of dero tribe sui kandar and before his birth his two elder brothers with the same name were born but could not survive the graves of both of his brothers are there in historical sui kandar graveyard a great mystic poet shah abdul latif bhittai was born in a period when sin was enslaved by mughal rulers of delhi that era was very difficult for sin and sindhi people animity of kalhoras and the linguistic supremacy of persian these all things are interconnected with each other in the same perspective and background 
during such a chaos and crisis, Shah Abdul Latif Bhattai emerged as the revolutionary one and opposed the old traditional tribal and religious trends. But Shah Abdul Latif Bhattai himself, in his being, was a different and rebellious character. A new person emerged with the idea of rebirthing of new nation who could inspire the people with fresh fervor and enthusiasm. Shah Abdul Latif Bhittai sacrificed his whole life to bring change. Such a commitment, urge, enthusiasm for his goal are the symbols of his greatness. For such a laborious and revolutionary character, it has been written, Shah Abdul Latif Bhittai's poetry is the best expression of our national enthusiasm. It is the importance of our national existence and survival. In the sensitive mind of Shah Abdul Latif Bhittai, there emerged a beautiful dream of freedom of sin, is the independent country. Religion and culture of sin, to be on is on one. Shah Abdul Latif Bhittai's poetry is the true expression of that dream. Because the same was the real identity and enthusiasm of the then Sindh. And Shah Abdul Latif Bhittai's whole age of 63 years was the era of the struggle for unity and independence of sin. Yogis in this world, some are light, some fire, kindling themselves to ignite others. Without them, I cannot live. Either they talk of past or exaggerate for future, but those who live in prison with the purpose, without them, I cannot live. Shah Abdul Latif Bhittai not only had the knowledge of centuries long of sin civilization, but he apprehended the dangers for sin in coming future spread up to the present times. He was quite different person and legion having no example in the history. When he witnesses the internal war between the Mughal rulers of Delhi, Topsy-turvy conditions of sin and approaching march of East India Company. He cries is under, has men, sleep not till port's danger are crossed. Water near the port churns like curd in earthen port. For better not to sleep than such suffering come across. Since the end of summer dynasty in 1520 AD, sin and sorrows go hand in hand till today. Argons, Turkhans and Mughals enslaved sin. And 40 years of his age, Shah Abdul Latif Bhittai himself suffered that slavery. When he was 28 years old, the tragedy of Job took place. 1718 AD and when he was 43 years old and other tragic incident of Khuhra happened 1733 AD with such a tragic background Shah Abdul Latif Bhittai got deeply disturbed Shah Abdul Latif Bhittai since his childhood used to sit and pray in isolation and used to go 
wherever he wished and in solitude he pondered over the secrets of the universe once upon a time he sat in sandy land surrounded by trees for a few days and due to strong blowing wind the sand wrapped over his clothes and his father while watching for him reached there and looking at his tragic situation cried with grave grief as under continuous blowing of wind the body organs are wrapped over while listening the said voice of his father shah abdul latif bhitai responded in the same acastic mood is under yet breathing and surviving to seek union with beloved shah abdul latif bhitai's such a response in the same acastic mood is the proof of the fact that in an age of 15 years shah abdul latif bhitai had high poetic sense and spiritual flight far better than that it proves his mystic approach his such a spiritual level was once expressed by a great mystic sahi hashim shah of matiari there i feel fragrance of latif in habib when shah abdul latif bhitai reached the age of 18 years he once again happened to meet sahi hashim shah of matiari looked at him with love and said while praying for him latif's lamp will remain enlightened when that intellectual light is spread during the darkness of ignorance and slavery it enlightened the whole universe and embodied the truth and beauty which became the theme of his mystic poetry and gave new trends to literature language society and religion there is variety of characters in his poetry which is the treasure of sindhi culture where there is a character of beautiful thinking there is a character of ecstatic mood where there is a man of morality there is a character of beauty where there is a character of sweet songs there is a character of struggle where there is a character of love and affection there is a man of thinking where there are lovers there are warriors where there are kings there are queens on the contrary when we read the poetry of shah abdul latif bhitai we find a good number of artisans and labor there are spinners and weavers there are potters there are goldsmiths there are desert dwellers watching for rain there are expert sailors and navigators while on the other side wives are looking for their partners there are iron smith there are warriors there are ascetics there are mystics there are hearts men there are camel men there are beggars there are ascetics there are mystics where there are kings there are queens there are hungry and thirsty there are saints neither all human being or beautiful nor all the birds are like swans but rare comes fragrance from anyone shah abdul latif bhitai knew the meaning of sorrows and secrets of creation of this universe he also knew the history that how many tragic periods are preserved in history telling about the cruelties 
and destruction and reconstruction of society. He knew that survival of sin soil depends upon the Indus River. He experienced the difficult paths of mountain and apprehended the dangers of the future. Shah Abdul Latif Mitai's love was spiritual, hence, since his settlement at Court Mughal, Potri, till coming. To get settled at Bhit, Bhitsha, he suffered a lot of pangs of separation and ever yearned for lasting union with his love. A period of 20 years of his age, 1122 to 1142 Hijra, is considered the period of his continuous struggle for search of heavenly love. During this period, he got understanding with the people from every strata of life and put all his experience and observation in his poetry. He visited frequently his like-minded friends, shrines of past saints, his elders. He got understanding with the people from every strata of life. Shah Abdul Latif Mitai's character and his poetry is creative and progressive, in which unmatched struggle is expressed which is guideline for others. After settlement at Bhit, Bhit Shah, Shah Abdul Latif Bhitai well organized the following institutions which then function effectively and also remain functioning nowadays. Number one, after the death of his father, Habib Shah, he took the charge of spiritual leadership. Number two, well organized his followers team eight Bhitsha and assigned them individual work. Number three, well organized his institution of Shah Jo Rag, singing of his melodies. Number four, looked after and God repaired and constructed the shrines of his elders. Number five, he continued his frequent visits of his friends, fellows, and followers to get sin rid of slavery. The whole life of Shah Abdul Latif Mitai is important and exemplary. But the collection of his poetry, Shah Jo Risalo, and Institution of Singing, Shah Jo Rag, both are the living facts of his life. The collection of his poetry consists of high intellectual and spiritual thinking, mystic thoughts, old culture and history of sin, and daily life of the people of sin. His collection of poetry is living document of Sindhi language and literature. It is expression of universal message of love and peace, fraternity and coexistence, which is ever recurring need of the people. It is high moral teachings of high profile person. Shah Abdul Latif Bittai expired in 1165 Hijra, 1752 AD and on every 14th day of second month of Islamic calendar, his annual celebrations are organized. It could be said that he lived his life with a comprehensive purpose and became immortal, as he himself says, who die before death, they never die. Those who lived a purposeful life, they became immortal. <laughs>